But the four women on board the ark are not blood related, and therefore we could easily have the mitochondrial DNA bottleneck going much earlier, uh, even all the way back to Eve herself. The point is only from a biblical perspective, uh, would you predict that you would get an earlier uh, mitochondrial DNA date for the human species than the Y chromosome date? If you want to read more about this, uh, who is Adam is the best source. And, uh, but to summarize what we've been doing here uh, today is looking at the reasons to believe creation model and giving you some evidence, uh, which you'll see summarized in this book, that indeed the reasons to believe creation model offers a comprehensive explanation of the entire record of nature, not just the fossil record of life on planet Earth, but of the entire history of the universe, our Milky Way galaxy, the solar system, uh, the planet, uh, and the life history of planet Earth from the least advanced life to the most complex advanced life in the context of what the Bible teaches about that whole sequence of history uh, being uh, initiated and engineered by the creator God of the Bible. And the biggest complaint I hear about creation in the scientific community is that creation is not testable. Well, we show you in this book how our creation model can be put to the test how it could be falsified by scientific discoveries. For example, if scientists were to prove that there's nothing unique about the human species in terms of their spirit attributes compared to other creatures of life, that would be catastrophic to a biblical creation model. Likewise, if we were to prove that the universe never had a beginning, or there was no beginning to space and time, or a causal agent beyond space and time, that would be catastrophic to our creation model. And we give you several other examples in the book. And then we focus on how the model is predictive. In fact, what we do in the book is we close with 90 predicted discoveries that scientists will make in the next few years that are distinct from the predictions made by the naturalists, the theistic evolutionists, and the young earth creationists. Those are three competing creation evolution models that we contrast with our reasons to believe a creation model. And uh, the appeal of the book Creation of Science is that there's really no need for all this hostility over creation evolution debates. What we need to do is develop detailed models to explain the record of nature, insist that those models make specific predictions of what scientists will discover in the future based on their explanation of the record of nature, and then we wait two or three years and see which side's predictions come true and which ones fail to come true. Now, I'm not trying to claim that we have a perfect model. You only have that if you've got total knowledge. However, uh, predictions are a way to determine which model is progressing in the direction of truth and which models are failing to progress uh, in the direction of truth. If you want to read more about it, uh, you can pick up uh, this book, uh, Creation of Science. Uh, and if you've got questions uh, after reading that book about science faith issues, our Reasons to Believe organization maintains a daily telephone hotline. Every day except Christmas, we invite people to call in uh, with their questions about creation, evolution, other science faith issues. And also every Tuesday, uh, we have a live webcast where we talk about how these latest scientific discoveries are giving us additional tests uh, of different creation evolution models. And we invite people to call in on the phone or they can write in with their emails every week, creation update, and uh, we archive every show uh, on our uh, website. And if you'd like to be put on a list uh, to get a free magazine where we talk about some of these latest scientific discoveries, uh, there's an 800 number, 482-7836, uh, uh, or you simply can get a hold of us uh, through reasons.org. And then finally, uh, we have a Reasons Institute where if you'd like to take uh, courses that are accredited at both the undergraduate and graduate level on these science faith issues, uh, we are, uh, welcome you to, to sign up for that capacity. Thank you.